artist and interior designer in Seward, Alaska. And tonight I wanted to uh, share with you a piece of art I've created uh, that I call humor. And it is basically a portrait of a sea lion. And as I've mentioned before in some of my previous shows, I worked as a wildlife biologist for 30 plus years. And so a lot of the uh, animal art that I do is related to the energy that I experienced firsthand with some of these animals in the work that I did. Now, um, what I'm going to share with you about the sea lions is not related to my job really because mainly I was dealing with the animals in the forest, but sea lions are like my neighbors. I see them all the time. Uh, they live in Resurrection Bay, which is uh, just a couple blocks from my house. And when I'm out walking, I often see them along the ocean or if I'm out in a boat or even visiting our nearby aquarium. So uh, I see them quite often and I'm always really impressed with how fluid and graceful they are, even though they're just huge. And I, uh, they teach us how to adapt, I guess, in a way to the currents of life with ease. And I also love how expressive and curious they always seem to be. They're always checking us out and they usually have an expression of wanting to play or play a trick on you uh, if you're up for it. So uh, at times I see them alone, but most of the time I think they're usually hanging out in groups that are social animals and sometimes this can include they'll be swimming along in a group together, which is called a raft. And a lot of times it reminds me of like a really loud, crazy, raucous party. Because you can hear them talking to each other and making noise for like a really long distance. They're very, very loud. Um, often, you know, they'll be out on rocks all together, all laying together on, on rocks where they haul out. And... Uh, they can be quite comical. It's usually, you know, a lot of the females and young, and then you'll have the one big gigantic male that is just like up there, you know, announcing to the entire universe that I am the greatest thing ever in the entire world, don't you think? And so uh, it's fun to watch them. And so they teach us about the importance of community and the power of expression. They spend a lot of their time out hunting, basically for fish, but they also like to take time for rests, as you can, as we see them out there just laying, lounging around on the rocks, taking naps. Sometimes they haul up on uh, the docks and things like that. And if you're not careful, sometimes they'll try to haul, uh, haul up on your boat if you are out in a, like a kayak, something like that. So they, they spend a lot of time catching food, but they take time for rest too. So that helps teach us about the balance between work and play. Uh, my favorite uh, memory that I have of a sea lion was 
one time I was out sea kayaking and I was pretty new at it. So it was a little insecure, like in up here in Alaska, if you're sea kayaking, uh, you do not want to tip over and go in the water. And if you do, you better never know, be able to get yourself out and upright and back in the boat because the water is so cold. It can be a matter of just a short time before you are incapacitated. You can't move and basically drown because of that. So, um, but I was out kayaking and I had this sea lion that started to follow me. And so it was just like swimming along next to my kayak and, uh, and I was by myself and it would pop up its head and look at me like, hi. And it would look at me and then it would go down. And so every couple minutes it would pop its little head up and give me this mischievous look like, hi. Like it wanted to play a game or something and it would look at me and it would go down and it followed me for probably a couple miles doing this. And I thought, oh my God, the sea lion is so cute, but I really hope it does not try to haul out on my boat because that would be bad. But I'll always remember that experience and the energy of looking at it in its eyes and, and feeling that kind of like that energy of wanting to connect and play and just that humorous expression that it had on its face as we interacted with each other. Uh, so overall, what can they teach us? I would say balance strength with fluidity to navigate challenges with grace and humor, adapt to changing circumstances, have fun, and flow through your journey with ease. Embrace the currents of change, knowing that flexibility is the key to finding joy and balance between work and play. Be expressive and find strength in shared bonds. So anyway, now I'd like to show you uh, a room I designed that uses this art. And if you wanted to use this energy art in your space, it can help you remind you of those things and how to attract them into your life whenever you see it. So I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm.